I have been uh, in this business, this book business, 30 years. Well, I, th I think uh, books are enormously interesting. The range is fantastic and uh, I still enjoy books at uh, my advanced years. I used to go in the libraries and come come away with armfuls of books. Mind you, a lot of people did that anyway in days of yore, before the war. And there was no television, that sort of thing. So it was it was uh, the main entertainment, reading, I would say. Of course, there was a radio, but. Uh, it still, he still needed books to uh, gain knowledge. My wife had got a quite a, a decent library of um, book club books, and I got an empty shop, and I put these books in this shop, hoping to, you know, start something fresh, and. Uh, we, I couldn't sell them, the books didn't sell them. And the reason is they weren't original publications. People collect first editions and so forth. And of course, I learned that very quickly, that it wasn't, you had to sell uh, original publications or oh, forget it. So I did a switch on to the, that sort of thing. Um, and um, it started to, take off, not in any remarkable way, but uh, it did, I was selling the odd books. I think the first book I sold was 50p, and uh, I was over the moon about that, you know. Uh, going on from uh, the, initial, the initial bookshop, I opened three bookshops, and I was, I thought to myself, I'll open this, uh, the M60, goes all the way around Manchester and the various satellite towns en route and I thought well I'll own the books I'll own the bookshop in every town on en route so I opened one in Hyde Hyde Cheshire uh, one in Winslow I had one in West Didsbury, it wasn't strictly uh, on the M60, but that was my thinking. And um, and then, of course, we we sort of hit the buffers, and, so, and the realisation was that uh, it wasn't going anywhere. I had to close these shops, leases came to an end, etc. And I brought all the stock into this building here. I, I wasn't to know that it was going to work, but I had to find somewhere to put all the stock. And this is what I did, brought it in here. Now, obviously I advertised it, but uh, it was a while before it, it uh, took off. It came about that we started to take some sell some books. I mean, I wasn't absolutely content with the size of this place. I wanted to extend it, so I built a ramshackle uh, bit of uh, extension on the front. And of course, it was an open sesame to young louts playing at night. They broke in and then amazingly set a fire uh, in the middle of it. I suppose that there weren't a woman in the house or something, but the, the trouble of course was that it, it uh, broke it. The, the fire got into the main building and that was it. And astoundingly, the, the place burned down. Um, I thought that was the end of it. So it was um, 
depressing. I looked at the faces of the people that work for me and they all looked very despondent, more so than I was, strangely. And I thought, well, it's a sad day for everyone. It was either call it a day or start again. And I said, well, we can continue. But it'll take forever to do. It'll just blood, toil and sweat to, to, to do it. And uh, we were close for 12 months. We were sort of trying to salvage those books that had any worth, etc. And uh, of course I went out and tried to find some more stock here and there. It's not me, really, uh, it happened. Uh, but it was 12 months we closed. And uh, that was it. It, uh, but it, I mean, it's an interesting game. His book's very interesting. You just don't know what uh, what's going to come through the doors. Second books, <laughs> great fun. Well, I, I christened it Sharston Book in, in in the area that it's emerged. It's surprising uh, where, where these books have come from after all this time. Books are, I think, are coming back now quite powerfully.